in it. creating a sort of complex between hydronium and 18 crown 6. Now this compound is interesting because it not only contains the hydronium ion but also the hydrogen dichloride anion or HCl2- which is very interesting. This reaction is going to be carried out with good ventilation because we are going to generate hydrogen chloride gas. If you have good ventilation inside then I suggest you utilize it. This synthesis requires that we dissolve 18 crown 6 in toluene and then bubble hydrogen chloride gas through it. Generating the hydrogen chloride is a fairly easy task. What I have here is a 250 milliliter round bottom flask with two necks on it. I have a gas takeoff adapter on the outer neck and just a stopper on the top neck. In the round bottom flask I have a slurry of calcium chloride, sodium chloride, and some water. To this, I'm going to add some concentrated sulfuric acid through this and then restopper it, uh, which will generate hydrogen chloride, which will flow through the tube and through the solution of 18 crown 6 in toluene. The solution of 18 crown 6 uh, com is composed of pretty much just 1 gram of 18 crown 6 in about 50 milliliters of toluene. Hydrogen chloride, uh, prepared as the way I explained just earlier, um, will form a, a layer which is basically an ionic liquid. Here I have some of it in a dram vial. Sort of yellowish, if this thing would focus. There we go. Sort of a yellowish liquid. Um, and I'll put the formula for this up on the screen now. Um, if you leave this out in open air with uh, moisture present, you will get this, which is a different complex minus the um, toluene and this has the hydrogen dichloride anion present in it. Now I know some of you may be thinking well why isn't that just 18 crown 6? Well that's a good question and I thought that myself at first. However 18 crown 6 is really deliquescent or it absorbs water from the uh, atmosphere to basically form a puddle. Now, since this has been out for a few hours and, you know, there's no puddle there, it's just nice, clear, whitish sort of crystals, I'm fairly certain that this is not 18 crown 6. Otherwise, we would have sort of a goop or a sort of a syrup. So, yeah. Anyways, let me go ahead and uh, get to dissolving this 18 crown 6 in the toluene. Wow, look at that crystal. Man, that's... I haven't even seen that happen before. It's just a massive crystal of 18 crown 6. Holy moly. If I could hold it correctly. Look at that. That's nuts. And there we go, that's actually one gram of 18 crown 6. It's pretty dense stuff. This whole bottle weighs roughly 100 grams, at least when it was new, so it's a small bottle. So yeah, again, this stuff is pretty dense. Adding a stir bar to the toluene. Turn on stirring, and I'm going to go ahead and dissolve the 18 crown 6. This shouldn't take too long to dissolve. Mm. Now that I think about it, I'm actually going to add another gram of 18 crown 6, just so we get more product. So disregard the whole 1 gram of 18 crown 6 thing I said earlier. Uh, I'm going to use 2 grams. That should work just fine.
Once everything is dissolved, I'm going to go ahead and move everything outside so we can begin forming the hydronium complex. Again, hydrogen chloride will be used, so if you don't have ventilation and you're inside, it's going to be pretty unpleasant. So I suggest doing it outside, in a fume hood, or somewhere with good ventilation. So basically what I've got here is... Oh, so come back. Stop that. What I have here is the 18 crown 6 solution in toluene in a uh, gas wash bottle just so we can uh, see the reaction better. On the right over here is the HCl uh, generator. Over there, or at least in my hand now, is the concentrated sulfuric acid. So what I'm going to do now is uh, slowly add this through the top thing, top arm I guess, of the uh, two-necked round bottom flask, uh, which will generate hydrogen chloride, which will be then led through the 18 crown 6 solution. And after a little while, we should be able to see that ionic liquid being formed. So, let's go. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> So, as you may be able to see, there we have a small layer of the ionic liquid at the bottom. What I'm going to do now is extract that with a pipette and put it into a dram vial. What I'm going to do now is add a very small amount, only about mm, half a milliliter or so, of the ionic liquid, which is a sort of yellowish, just barely yellowish, uh, clear uh, fuming liquid. And I'm just going to add that to, oops, dripped a little, going to add that to this small beaker right here and let it evaporate. And as it gives off both small amounts of HCl and toluene vapor, uh, we will be left with the solid um, hydrogen dichloride uh, oxonium 18 ground 6 complex. Uh, that's quite a name, but I mean, I don't know what else to call it. Here's some of the old solid complex after sitting out uh, and solidifying, basically. It's a white crystalline solid, uh, some nice crystals, and it's got this really weird consistency to it. It's kind of waxy almost. You can see it sort of sticks to the uh, spatula here, but it, it's definitely a soft, malleable, uh, waxy, white solid. Uh, I mean, I don't know how else better to describe it than that, but uh, very strange. Again, this is not the um, toluene complex, but this is just the normal hydrogen dichloride complex. The toluene complex is the liquid or the ironic liquid. It is safe to say that the hydronium and toluene complex is hydrolyzed by water. You can see this happening here with the generation of a white solid which is actually its own complex. Well, unfortunately, it would be 
pretty much impossible to isolate this complex in the solid state just because it's in almost like an emulsion form uh, in the water. So, I mean, plus, I mean, the, the particle size is way too small for any filter media I have, <laughs> that's for sure. And uh, it's way too uh, small of an amount to really, I guess, merit filtering. Something extremely interesting about this solid complex that was just formed is that it contains the H5O2 group also known as oxonium hydrate. So this was the preparation of an ionic liquid containing the hydronium ion. I really hope you enjoyed. This is a very interesting experiment to do, and uh, something kind of different from what I usually do. You can like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.